Let's learn how to implement the bubble sort algorithm in Solidity. Bubble sort is a sorting algorithm. It's not super efficient, but it's simple and easy to understand. Bubble sort loops over an array and compares the value at each index to the value at the next index. So we start by comparing one and seven. If the number on the right is larger than the number on the left, and it is, there's no changes required. Seven is larger than one, seven is on the right of one, that's the correct order, so we move on. Now we compare the next two values. Seven is larger than three. That is not in ascending order. So we need to swap them. We swap the values. Now they are in ascending order. That's correct. So we move on. Seven is less than nine. Correct. Nine is greater than six. That's not ascending. So we need to swap them. There we go. Now they're in ascending order. We've completed one full pass. Our array is more sorted than it was before, but you'll notice not all the values are in ascending order. One, three, seven, six, nine. So we need to perform another pass starting at the beginning. One verse three, good. Three verse seven, good. Seven verse six, not good. Swap them. Now they're good. Seven verses nine, good. Now our array is in ascending order. Booyah. Now let's get to some code. Open up remix.ethereum.org and let's use the online IDE. We'll start by declaring our version of Solidity. And then we'll import the remix library that supports tests. Create a contract called test. Now we need to define a function to write code, so we'll create a function called bubble sort. It's a pure function because it doesn't save anything into the blockchain, and it outputs an array of integers. Let's initialize our unsorted array. For memory-based arrays in Solidity, you need to set the length when initializing it. We're going to use the same array that we used in our demonstration earlier, so the length is 5. Now we'll use the same values that we used earlier as well. Okay, we have our unsorted array set up with the values 1, 7, 3, 9, and 6. Unsorted, but we want to sort this into ascending order. The first thing we can do is get the length of the array and assign it to a variable. This, is, this will make it easier to implement our algorithm. And as we discussed before, bubble sort works in a double loop. So we're going to write the first loop now. Now we'll write the second loop. In this second loop, j contains the index as we loop over. Inside the second loop, we'll check if the value at the current index, r, j, is greater than the value at the second index, r, j plus 1. And if it is, that means those two values are not in ascending order, and we need to swap them. The first thing we do is save the value at the current index. Oops, I wrote k instead of j. Next, we overwrite the value at j with the value at j plus 1. And now we overwrite the value at j plus 1 with the value we stored from j. Then after these two loops, we return our array. There's no simple way to print our sorted array to the console with solidity, unlike, say, in JavaScript. So we'll need to write a test function to know if our output is correct. The first thing we'll do is get the output from bubble sort and store it to a variable. Now we'll check each of the values one by one. So we want to assert that the value at the first index in our returned array is equal to 1. 
Let's check this now before adding the remaining numbers. Perfect, it passes. Now let's check the other values. If the array was sorted in ascending order, the second value should be 3. The next value should be 6, then 7, then 9. Let's run the test one more time. Amazing. It passes. That means that our bubble sort worked. Congratulations, you've just learned how to sort an array in Solidity using bubble sort. If you found this video helpful, I'd love it if you could subscribe and give this a thumbs up.